let's see. Please enter a whole number. Let's enter G. Oh, right. You remember what I said about sim get? C in get? Because when you press enter once, it already. Uh, so that's pretty bad. Let's keep it to. Let's put include here. Include c o n i o dot h. So just don't bother with learning what this library does for now. It's actually useful if you want uh, the get ch function and the kb hit function. That's what I use it for mostly. But it's 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 a standard library, and today I'm going to use it for get ch, which literally means get character from the user, and it will freeze up our program, which is so I'll enter g and uh, Look at that. See out X gave us eight. That means I'm not actually sure what that means. I don't think that's the ASCII value. That's something a little different. Uh, how about we rerun this program and enter F? Still gave us eight. It's probably the amount of data stored. Uh, or it's some random number inside X so just don't enter characters for now because it's you're asked to enter whole number so let's enter 98 and we receive here on the output stream 98 because we entered 98 here great isn't it so now we can say the same thing for my string see out please enter your name uh, but with uh, strings, it's a little different. So let's just de declare the my string here. And with strings, it's a little different. We have to use something different called the getLine function. Uh, getLine accepts a couple of parameters. Uh, the first is the input stream. So if you're reading a line from a file, then your your um, input stream would be uh, the f the the i uh, if stream that you declared so but you don't have to worry about that now just uh, hopefully remember you can remember that but that's okay if you can that's okay so our uh, input stream is going to be C in because that's how we're going to get the information we're going to uh, ask for the data directly so get line gets a line of text from the user so it basically accepts everything un until uh, the user presses the enter uh, key so and now the next parameter is where we're gonna store the data so we're gonna store it in my string and that's cool no okay so get line see in my string so now we stored it in my string and uh, now we can print it back out again add them later so let's and let's put after this see out put an endl so that we keep our code nice and clean so please enter whole number I'm gonna enter 97 978 please enter your name uh, what was that C in X oh, that's a glitch right there uh, I don't even know yeah, these these functions can glitch up, kind of. So C in, I guess you you have to clear the buffer or something. Uh, let's see how great. Now, uh, continue. I don't even know. Let's put a pseudo C in X here just so we can get rid of the error for now and then we'll figure out what to do about it later. Ooh. The get line method is really bugging me. Uh, we could use the sin method on a string. I'm not saying you can't. So you could use C in uh, my string. But the problem with that is. Uh, that you're only gonna get the first word of the string so if you compile and run it oops uh, please enter whole number 45 please enter your name Peter uh, 
of Peter Pan. Oops. So you see here, here's 45, here's our number, but Peter only showed up, uh, it didn't show up the full, the, not the full thing because we didn't read the line. So actually I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this position and I'm going to actually uh, put get line in the in front because my string, because it doesn't like something about that. And uh, please enter Peter Pan. Please enter whole number 978. And notice how it uh, wrote out the whole string now, Peter Pan. That's what I wanted it to do. So, yeah. I don't know what why it was glitching before. I mean, I've been programming for two months, and C++ still surprises me at the basic level. Just like get lines and C and, and everything like that. Name spaces are a hard thing to learn. So, anyways, uh, this was a basic tutorial on data types. Sorry for making it so long. Um, I hope you have a basic understanding of data types. And uh, I guess I should, well, I won't cover character pointers. And uh, those of you coming from C, remember that a character array, uh, I, I pro I'll go into this in arrays, but uh, a string is basically uh, kind of like a character array so character 50 could hold a string hello world blah 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 you could do that but it's 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 pretty hard converting from a string to my to a character array to a character pointer and all those those are hard so for now I recommend if you, you're using strings you use the keyword string and you pretty much can use it anywhere and it's fr it's again it's from iostream it's from the the standard template library uh so yeah and anyways i hope you enjoyed this lesson and this was a uh, strilog from recon networks with an introduction to basic c++ data types the next tutorial is going to cover more about uh program control and if statements if statements are cool Th that's basically how you communicate with uh, the program so if statements and case statements and I can't wait for the next tutorial it's gonna be really fun and you're a great audience thank you see you in the next tutorial